Hi, this is Subbase 100, and I'm going to test this 120 millimeter PC case eh, handle. Okay, right now, this computer is weighing in at 16 pounds. It's just an old junker that I have lying around. So, 16 pounds. And so 16 pounds seems all right, but I heard some people in there. Um, well actually, before I get started, I want to thank uh, Bob12348 for recommending a second print in the test. But uh, WEFYV um, was uh, talking about a 12 kilo question, which I believe is like 20 some pounds, 25 some pounds. So um, let's see if we can test that real quick. I have a trailer hitch, a ball adapter. I have this uh, jack and uh, some kind of chisel. And I uh, got this masonry hammer here. I'll just shove that in there. All right, so what are we up to as far as weight goes? We are 30. 33 pounds, five ounces. So let's see if uh, if this handle, it's only being held in by four screws, four bolts, can lift 33 pounds, five ounces. I'm gonna drop that on my toe. But yeah, it does look like it can lift 33 pounds. So I can redistribute some of this weight uh, with no issue. Obviously, I'm not going to lift it up sideways. But um, yeah, there's still room to go. You could probably put more stuff on it. Let me see. I should have probably been using this tripod to start with. So the tripod on there. I don't know what else I can put on here? Some kind of mouse pad. Metal mouse pad. Good. Still no real problem there. I wonder how much that weighs at this point. So we're up to 37 pounds. Let's see, what else can I throw on this thing? Um, drill just shove that up in there so that'll bring us to uh, 44 pounds and I guess I should stick this impact in here all right so by putting this impact in there that's gonna bring us up to 46 pounds I really want to make it up to 50 pounds so I could just demonstrate the strength of this thing um, let's see I have uh, some tools here. Let's see. Well, we'll say it goes up to 47 pounds and 47, uh, 48 pounds. Well, that's obviously not going to weigh very much. Um, let's see. I have a projector here. That should add some weight. So I'll make sure I can grip this thing. All right. So we're definitely up to over 50 pounds. My scale maxed out. So let's try it over 50 pounds. I just, here we go. Over 50 pounds. I still feel confident in this thing. But I'm going to set it down now. <laughs> so got a couple other shout outs. Um, so one shout out is to... Ad curtain. Ad curtain said it would split between layers. Uh, I clearly didn't split between layers. Uh, PVDP 90. I'll be the laughing stock of all my friends when it breaks and all my hardware goes to shit. Um, uh, it didn't go to shit, but I'm always usually the laughing stock of my friends. Uh, Ristic, unless it's polycarbonate or nylon, uh, it's going to break. And um, it is just Petchy, and uh, Petchy has the strength of polycarbonate. Or at least it said so in the wiki page. Um, living by the bay, it would be awfully sad when it breaks. I would be sad when it broke, but it didn't. And Grundle Stiltskin, there will be no good way to print this. Um, I just printed it flat. Just flat. The only thing I would recommend is uh, printing it with uh, support to stop the drooping in the center. A little bit that happened on my first print. And this is only 50% infill. So the original one was a 30% infill. That did feel kind of light, 
but the 50% infill is definitely the way to go. Oh, this is actually Hatchbox is the brand that I'm using. Hatchbox uh, Pet G Orange. And last but not least, uh, Superfly. The weight, when picked up, will separate the printed layers because of the downward force. Well, I did have a lot of downward force and it didn't break. So, um, yeah, I think this is a good print. It's interesting. So, print it out and stick it on whatever you have that's 120 millimeters because, I don't know, it hasn't, bro it hasn't broken for me. Peace.